Hi people, welcome to my episode 20 of uh, my season 3 Minecraft Let's Play. I had a slight problem, uh, a setback, we could say, about the implementation of Millionaire as I had promised it would be on episode 20. I, there's some code uh, incompatibility that makes it uh, crash before reaching the main menu. Anyway, I am going to craft uh, a redstone engine which uh, requires no... Uh, it, it doesn't require any kind of fuel, only a redstone signal, and it will work forever. Uh, it, w it won't uh, hit up, it won't uh, give problems. He is the perfect wor hard working machine. I'm also going to use a wooden transfer pipe, and I am going to craft myself some stuff. I have it crafted already. You can see I grabbed myself a lot of items in the time between the last video and this one, thanks to that world in it was uh, infernal monoliths. Yeah, I opened a bunch of uh, monoliths and gr got my hands on a lot of good stuff. I also well that that world is mostly destroyed sadly. I also crafted myself three, well, six of these buddies. Funny the color. Um, and I was looking right now for something, can't remember, but. Oh, yeah, it must be downstairs. I'm going to need some redstone, for example, four, and some gold. Because today we are going to craft some seals. Seals are like uh, some sort of machines from Buildcraft. Oh, I also made here a slight change. By using a lever in between two bits conduits, you can craft yourself a valve. The valve will let or block bits and taint to pass. Problem is, I was, uh, well, I wasn't getting any taint and I need it for this uh, dark infuser. So yeah, that's the reason. Uh, I also craft myself some more uh, some neat ore and aluminium and soul fragments. But I made a travel to the nether to grab myself soul sand. And yeah, you can see I already crafted some arcane seals. The these soul fragments are crafted by placing five different uh, pieces of soul sand in, in the dark, dark infuser one here, 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 and here. And you can see here we are crafting the arcane seals. You need to place them in order to, well, to make enchantments uh, in the ground. Like I told you, there was something similar to to that uh, anchor in here that could that can keep loaded by about five blocks five by fly, uh, five by five which is uh, good I suppose <laughs> and I want to use them to craft uh, oh sorry to craft uh, a self-sustaining farming well farming sugarcane farm. I saw in the wiki there's some really interesting one and to craft a seal uh, I am looking right now for a recipe I completely for forgot how was it crafted I'm sorry okay I need uh, I need gold a gold nugget and uh, the fury whatever so I'm going to need more gold Let's grab it all. And this Nitor, which was crafted, if I remember right, uh, with uh, both coal and redstone. So let me get myself nine gold nuggets. 
and we are going to need uh, two earth and crystals, two dark, uh, two tainted crystals, one vaporous, and one aquos. The only one we have, in fact. You can see I expanded a little this farm. I won't place any more, well, maybe a vaporous one and maybe two more tainted veins, but it's rising also slowly. Anyway, let's place the items in here and let's see if this works. Yep. And we got ourselves some depleted crystals. Great. I will explain this thing is used uh, in a second, don't worry. So let's uh, store it what we didn't use. Yeah, let's store the nugget too. And we can go outside. It's daytime. Do I have it on... yeah, on heart. I was testing some of the com uh, seal combinations before. Mmm, uranium. Considering the amount of uh, uranium I am getting, like uh, 41 right now, I might as well think about uh, setting up a nuclear reactor. And I love how high can I jump with these boots. See, you can see here, there's some slime down there. I should take care of it. And I replace my old sugarcane farm with a concentric one. That uh, will also... Die, you best. That will also let us, uh, well, it will let us farm several things at the same time. You can see here, there's some space, uh, there's a storage slot in here, and what I'm going to do here is to place a transport pipe in here, if I can, with these boots on, yeah. Now I am going to place the redstone engine, and I am going to place the teleporting pipe, frequency one. And now I need to I need to place another wooden plank in here. The lever. There we go. Now all items I place in here inside this chest will go straight to my sorting machine, and the redstone engine will keep working all the time. So what we're going to do here is first to place here one of these. You can see, you can place them anywhere you want and you can recover them. However, this essence you place in there won't be... you won't be able to recover them once you place them. So I am going to place uh, one air and two dark. And what will it do? As you can see, it will take items inside. And you can see they are taken out of chest into our main collecting system. So now we need some uh, something that will harvest the items. For example, if I place... Can I place it in here? Let me... Yeah. and uh, we need to set something that will harvest. That's uh, earth and water. And if we place another earth, we raise the, ra the range. So you can see it is now taken out from here. I will place another in here. Or maybe in here. Well, here's... Oops. Okay. Let's see if I can get one before it gets... Nope. Okay, now. So, I'm going to place in here another seal with the earth, water, earth. Wasn't earth water earth? Yes, harvesting. See? Now all this uh, surface 
is being uh, harvested in here. Now I suppose there's some sort of uh, growth enhancing rune somewhere. I just uh, don't know it. And uh, I might need to discover it. Now I, I did a little cheating in here because I essentially uh, researched the um, these two seals combination in my testing world, but <laughs> I think that's uh, okay. And for the lily pads in the middle, it's so items don't fall in the water. I don't know if it's necessary, but since I am playing by ear here, I am just uh, using things the way they were shown into the wiki. So the idea is uh, entirely from the wiki, not mine. You can see it's pretty nice, by the way. And there is a recipe for the for an item that allows you to see the different combinations uh, you have discovered, and it's something some of those are are going to work or not. This is the crystal ball. You can see it's uh, fairly expensive, and I can't afford it right now because it rec also requires a beast detector. But in the future, I suppose I will. So now that uh, we are clear on here, this is uh, also working perfectly. I am going to think about uh, the next project I intend to start. I th I am thinking of uh, oh of course I didn't show you something I did in between episodes I was so surprised it worked I forgot completely to record it so let me graph uh, yeah I have the pick pick an item key reassigned uh, however I don't know where the item I am looking for is right now. There we go. You can see I graphed the... Uh, if you remember, we had uh, found uh, one of those zombie spawners back in a previous episode. Now, let's see. Will you? No. Oh, dear. Oh, well. can solve it anyway later. And it was like... Um, well, uh, we weren't able to use it for anything. But with uh, with this, with the portal gun, we can move the spawner, spawning portals and even make them cross through portals. Of course, you need to cross first for that. Not a great deal, anyway. Yeah. So now I have a lot of zombies spawning and dying and giving me zombie flesh and other stuff. Sadly they are not brainy zombies, so I won't be getting more brains, but I suppose it's okay for now. Sometimes I get uh, some other goodies in here. Anyway, I believe it is time uh, for me to update this system down here. And in the end, I believe I will be replacing it entirely by a logistic pipes uh, based item. I mean, after looking at uh, Direwolf 20's Let's Play and thinking and considering, I decide it might be much less uh, cumbersome. That's uh, what I do have in here right now. And I won't be needing to have uh, a clock. It's worth a try if, uh, to see if I can reduce the, the problems derived from the ticking. Of course, that means I am going to need uh, more diamonds. I only have three, and I am not uh, feel comfortable by just uh, messing with my with the few drops I have right now. I could try, of course, to turn some of the, um, of the uh, some thome. There we go. 
yeah into diamonds it is possible to use thumbcraft in that uh, way that's so similar to um, to equivalent exchange however i i think i will uh, let that uh, stuff go into equivalent exchange considering the the high amount of energy i get from from cobblestone by burning fragments and the like well might not i might not be getting all that much but and you can see we are getting still the same chance of success but it is a little uh, faster brains in a jar won't provide you with any bonus in the research side but they will provide you with speed and by the way the recipe for those brains have cha uh, changed uh, was it for... no it was tainted yeah I finally found the totem of dawn recipe uh, no it wasn't tainted so it was forbidden brain in a jar yes it requires the soul fragment that's because I went ahead and had to take some from the nether and you can see it no longer requires a bucket of water it only requires the glass, the brain and the soul fragments there are other ways to craft the soul fragments than the one I mentioned of placing five units of, of soul sands in the system but uh, they have to be researched and you know how lucky I am with research don't you? see there's some more sugar canes coming through anyway I'm going to to graph all this 52 Eternalis fuel and I'm going to use the little trick of using the clean star to turn them into diamonds well at least half of them yeah you can see it's uh, locked so we can't uh, really turn all of them at once oh dear okay now there's no lock we can get ourselves diamonds and yeah it's like four diamonds only we can use it to compensate but not by much one two three four five five diamonds a little more there we go okay 24 diamonds looking good ah I did it again mm, okay with 34 diamonds we should be more than okay and uh, we now need to craft ourselves some items to reach this point. So I'm going to need uh, huge amounts of wood. I am also going to need gold. And I am sorry, but I will have to transmute some of the diamonds I got into gold. And we are going to need what else? Uh, we're going to need paper, of course. Why uh, do we need paper? Well, uh, the logistic pipe based system requires uh, what's the name? Modules. It requires modules. Let me stop this for a second. Where do I. Oh, here. And the modules are crafted with paper. Like it or not, 
that's the way they are crafted. Okay, perfect. So we now have a bunch load of uh, paper. Great. And we are a we have a continuous stream of sugar canes without the need to harvesting them. So one thing I am going to do now, by the way, is to craft myself. Oh, of course, it was with nine. Uh, to increase my energy gathering system a little because the faster we gather energy the quicker we advance into the system and equivalent exchange requires quite a lot of uh, investments and we need one of these yeah. Yeah, I know, I could have uh, take out my portable uh, version of uh, whatever. So I'll just place this in here. Okay. Yeah, this is a small trick to not lose any energy it's already stored into the system. Okay. Hmm. Or we can do this. Okay, perfect. Yeah, there it is. Uh, well, I'm going to take, in fact, this and turn them into um, the others. So I'm going to sort things a little, and I will, and I will be back with you in a second. Okay, I'm now updating. Years. You already saw me craft them before, but let me show you again in case we need a refreshment course. We take two pieces of uh, wooden planks, which means half a, wood, uh, a wooden piece, and we craft it in four, in a star, and we, we get our wooden gear. Now we take the wooden gear surrounded by cobblestone and we get stone gears now this is the tricky part I don't really like because we're going to use a huge amount of uh, iron for this and let me throw like two of these here and get a little more iron okay and at least four diamonds yeah because if not we're, we'll be in big trouble okay now we place a stone uh, gear and we surround it with iron we get ourselves some iron gears yay uh, for the time being we're getting ourselves 32 you know this process is fairly expensive so 37 only is what we are going to get. Now we need to surround these 47 with golden gears. And of course, since uh, I only had place one, we got ourselves a little mess. Okay, 13. 13 gold gears. Perfect. And now we can use these 13 gears to craft the diamond gears, to craft a filler, basic logistic pipes. Yeah, but we require a diamond transport pipe, which requires two diamonds and glass. Completely forgot I needed uh, those like so. Let's make like 16. And I believe we're, we were going to need also more glass and uh, redstone and torches. 
get uh, I have st uh, sticks in here and there are more than enough redstone in here. Okay. For now I believe we are good. There we go. Logistic pipes. So we have 48 basic logistic pipes, 10 diamond transport pipes, 1 gold gear. Oh dear. Let me get myself some more... Uh, let's try to get some iron. Can't? There we go. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is to turn more stone gears into iron. And I am going to turn more iron into gold. Then I am going to craft uh, at least two of those. Do I need to? Yes, I need... Uh, I need more teleporting pipes, I'm sorry to say. You so I I just uh, have only one in my storage. Now I have nine. Perfect. Okay, we can now storage the all the materials we don't need and we can start uh, with the crafting. We need this and this and we're going to need also some lapis. Okay, so we can see here there are basic logistic pipes, request, provider, crafting, satellite, supplier, builder and liquid. We are going to use mainly the basic logistic pipes, which you can see here how to craft into different uh, versions, but uh, we are going to craft uh, logistic chassis. We are going to use at least Mark II chassis, which means we are going to use a lot more iron. Mm, meaning, oh dear, I am going to need to see how quickly... this goes down. There we go, iron. Mm, 31. Let's go with another 30. Okay. So we are going to get ourselves a bunch of uh, Mark II, 8, in fact, we are going to get. And it won't be mo enough, but uh, for a start it will be sufficient. We see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, oh. More or less, one providing eight, uh, seven suppliers. Now, however, uh, we need to know that uh, uh, we are going to need a wrench. So, when we open one of these logistic pipes, these chassis, we see there are two slots in here. In those slots, we need to place uh, one of these modules. And for that, we first need to craft blank modules. That it has enthused the need of uh, paper I mentioned before, and I don't have any gold. Great. What am I looking for? Hey, yeah, paper. We got a bunch in here. So again, another diamond goes to the burning, and four diamond ingots. We turn the diamond ingots into gold nuggets, and remember, we can turn them back in, in this way, How, and, and forth. It's not really a problem. So now we have the gold nuggets, and the redstone. Uh, what did I do wrong? Oh, I did it. I made it work backwards. Okay. Not as much uh, redstone as I thought. 
more paper, which is, I suppose it's good. Let me grab uh, some more. And let's see how many can we craft. Uh, we need more redstone. And I do have the feeling that half of my left place show me running back and forth without, uh, oh, well, like a headless chicken without knowing what uh, am I doing half of the time. So, okay. We already crafted the blank modules, but they won't serve uh, any purpose by themselves. We require essentially this and more redstone, of course, which I just placed in here. Let's grab a huge amount. And what we do now depends on the effects we want. I'm going to need seven item sync modules, which means iron gears we have. And uh, cactus green. Now this is this might be tr tricky because cactus green comes from smelting a cactus. I said it might be tricky, but oh well. I can just get the electric furnace and the cactus green. And if you look at this, you can see there's pipe waterproof, a byproduct of the cactus green, and that's because you can use the Cactus green as um, to insulate the to isolate the pipes into something waterproof. You can see we got a huge amount of cactus green in exchange of those uh, useless seeds. That's uh, something I like. Perfect. Now we're going to need seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We don't want to use more because that would be, uh, well, useless essentially. Let me store them in here. And now uh, we're going to need um, provider module maybe. Yes, this is expensive again. Last diamonds. So essentially, we are going to have to graft one of those iron gears and turn it into a gold gear. However, we only need one of these, so it's not really that much of a problem. And we need the uh, lapis on the sides. Provider module, perfect. And I'd need at least a quick short. Oh dear! <laughs> Sorry, I missed uh, I missed this a little. We need a provi um, we need a quick sort module and seven provider modules. So you can see we are not even close to our goal. Let me graph the, the materials. I will be depleting depleting my reserves to craft this. Uh, can I burn the diamond transport pipes? No, I cannot. Oh well. A shame, but uh, to be expected. So, let me check this and I'll be back in a few. And since uh, we already surpassed the marking, I am going to do something that will speed things a little in the future, which is to craft uh, more clean stars and tr turn them into a clean star suite. The Clean Star Sui can uh, hold uh, about 100,000 or maybe 200,000, I'm not sure, of EMC value. Anyway, as you can see, I am going to be a little busy for a while managing the materials, but uh, that will have to wait for the next episode. For now, I am smelting these things a little and I will. Uh, of course, as I told you before, I will leave the this side of the of the of the system as it is. I will only remove this sorting machine and all this tube in here, 
but uh, don't worry, uh, eventually I plan to replace the whole system. Even if it's uh, much more compact now than the first time I showed it to you. But uh, that will have to wait for episode 21. So stay tuned and have fun, people!